Hello guys, this is Trix and welcome back to Unforeseen Incidents. The previous episode was good but the quality was absolute shit. I don't know what happened but the recorded footage was alright but after rendering, after editing and rendering, I don't know what happened with the quality. Maybe the encoding shit was messed up, I don't know. I'll try to raise the bitrate. Maybe that will help if you give any shit, I don't know. So yeah, let's just continue and sorry for the previous one if it looked shit. Where are we? Please, don't call them. I'm sorry, it's for the best. <laughs> So it then saved. Okay then, I'll complete this part and I'll be back. Alright, be back. Chapter 1. That was awful. Should I have stayed with her? <sighs> I don't know. People frown on dumpster diving, but you can turn up some cool stuff. Old appliances, old me? comic books. And that would be old Mrs. Denman's pantyhose. Well, I'm traumatized. All right. Nah, nothing useful in there. Old console, window... Let's read the notes. I used to draw stupid designs for machines all the time. If I'd ever built them, I think they would have mostly exploded. I don't think so, I'm supposed to do anything here. And this shit again. Fuck this shit. Where did she go? Tell me to go. To miss or Mr. Helvet? I don't remember. Home sweet dump. <laughs> Mrs. Sweet Demon's dump. place. She used to babysit me when I was a kid. Meat loaf and fruit cocktail from a tin. Mmm mmm. Mmm mmm. Sounds delicious. They're gone. Why is this music so depressing? Seagull versus some goons. Oh, I mean. <laughs> they say lightning never strikes twice. To... Tell that to this place. Mac goons. Fuck me. Hey, Morton. Hey there, Hoppo. Hey, Morton. Are Mark. you here to watch the big game? Everyone's downstairs already. Yeah. Uh, I'd really love to watch it with them, but Mr. Seagull says I gotta stay on front desk. Sucks, ain't it? Never mind. What do you think about Yale Town? Fever. How's the hotel trade? I don't remember you being such a big football fan. Actually, I'm looking for... A guest. Actually, a guest. I'm looking for a guest. 
someone called uh, Hellowell. I, I don't Hello know his well. first name. Hellowell? Uh, I'm Hello sorry, well. Harp. There's nobody here by that name. But I need to find him. Well, I'm sorry. We ain't got your Hellywell here. <laughs> okay, I guess I made a mistake. Sorry about that, Harp. Never mind. Fish food? Maybe. Aquarium. Nice aquarium. Lights, treasure chest, some kind of demonic skull. This fish tank is better than the rooms. Better than my room, I guess. Let me just take that, take that, and take everything I can. Sorry, Hopper. Guess only. Meh. I don't have time to schlep through all the floors anyway. The music suddenly just bumps up and goes down again. That's that old chair has I don't know why it keeps happening. Barkeeper. Hello there. Hey, what can I get you? Barkeeper, give me a drink. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm looking for Hellowell. Uh, for who? Hellowell? A reporter for the Times? I don't know a hell of well. Sorry, buddy. Well, I better go. Later. Later, bitch. Fans. Hi. Hey. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, brother. Do you know someone called Hellowell? Sure do. Hellywell White, running back for the Seagulls 92-94. I think he meant a guest, Merle. Sorry, we don't know any Hellowell. I gotta go. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Who says that? Me and Mort used to spend every night playing on that pool table. I hate to think about how many times we got hustled by truckers on layover. What else I can do? What's this? That lamp is the reason the tanning salon went out of business. Who gives a shit? I don't. You're not allowed back here, Harper. But I just want to... You know the rules, buddy. Hmm. Hey, Morton. Hey, buddy. Are you she? But I was told... Don't... Um... What? No, what did... I called her He's a shit. Nah. Who? Well, well, that lady was probably just talking crazy with the fever and all. Oh, well, maybe. But it sounded so serious. Sounds like a wild goose chase to me, Harp. What do you think about Yelltown fever? Real scary. They talk about it like it's... Like it's the Acropolis or something. <laughs> the Acropolis? Yeah, like some Revelations crap. I don't Never give mind. a shit. I guess nothing here. Nice animation there. Awesome. Always smart to have a backup generator. I helped Mr. Siegel install it back when I was in high school. All right. Ah, the junkyard. I wonder if Leroy's home. And who's that? Won't be long until the crane becomes part of the junk pile itself. The circle of life. That was deep. Looks like business is rusting. 
No comments. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hoppa. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? How's the junkyard business? Ah, oh, things have changed since you used to work for me, Hop. Yes, sir. Things have changed. Leroy, you're currently watching a football game instead of working. Things haven't changed that much. <laughs> you hear about this, uh, Yelltown fever business? Yeah. Ain't nothing Yelltown can't handle. I don't know. I think it's pretty serious. In my time, I've seen floods, snowstorms, rains of frogs, earthquakes, volcanoes. There's no volcano in Yelltown, Leroy. Yelltown folk can handle one little plague. That's what I'm saying. All right. Are you watching the game? Of course. I'd never miss the big finale. Wanna join me? No, thanks. I got too much on my mind today. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. Leroy's trailer. He lives here all year round. You know me, Hop. Junk is my life. Suits you? It's not as busy as it was back when I worked for Leroy. Can I do anything else? I don't know. And we'll have fish food. Maybe I can... I don't know. Let's just go back to hotel and feed some fishes, bitches. Sorry. Oops, I didn't mean to go down. Aquarium host fish food. Kill it bang. Nah, he's only interested in selling beer. Alright. Sometimes I wish I was a fish. Then I remember I hate swimming with my own poop. The fuck? <laughs> Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. That's it? Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. One more time. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I said I'd clean up this town, I didn't mean literally. Also, I never said I'd clean up this town. Nice. I wouldn't know how to use the hose here. The fuck am I doing? Sorry, Hopper. Guess only. Meh. I don't have time to schlep through all the floors anyway. I don't know what I'm doing here, but... Let's just pretend... There's something I... Missed, I guess. That's a little over the top. Mm -hmm. I love tennis. Mr. Siegel told me he found that lamp when a meteor crashed in the woods. Mort says he got it on eBay. Hello there. Hey, what can I get you? Barkeep, give me a drink. Barkeep? I'll have an OJ. Sorry, we don't have orange juice. Give me a beer then. Give me a beer. Sure. You got your ID? ID? No problem. Um, uh, I guess I must have left it in my other pants. I can't serve you unless you can prove you're over 21. Uh, I can sing the entire Samurai Squad theme song. The original, not, not the remake. No ID, no <laughs> alcohol, buddy. <laughs> All right. Well, I better go. Later. Fucking head. And 
here I thought I was making progression. Hopper, I told you, you can't be back here. I got a oh, okay. yeah. Fuck you. I'm sorry. Mort is not you. Looks like they're showing the game in the hotel bar. Well, I don't think that'll get many Yelltowners off their couches. Pretty festive, huh? I don't think I can do anything else. No clue what's going on. Whoever made that statue must have a screw loose. It freaks me out. What a piece of junk. Hey, wait a minute. That's Professor McBride's car. Something's not right. I better tell the professor. I guess I should. I don't know. Harper, I didn't expect... What's the matter? I... I saw an infected woman. What? Are you sure? Of yeah, course. Yeah, it, it was terrible. She, she had blood coming out of her mouth and nose everywhere. What if I caught Yelltown fever? What if that happens to me? <sighs> Calm down, son. If you're infected, then squalling like a bear won't help. Come here, let me check you for symptoms. All right. Well, it seems you're a very lucky boy, Harper. So I'm... You're fine. You're not showing any of the symptoms. Clean bill of health. Oh, thanks, Professor. Oh, thank God. And I thought you were a scientist. I'm not sure she had anything to do with it. I called in RHC. They'll be able to help her, right? They'll take her to the RHC emergency treatment camp and put her on life support. Then, if her condition stabilizes, they'll move her to a specialist hospital. So I did the right thing. She was dying. What choice did you have? Whoa. The infected woman was talking kind of strange. How do you mean? It was strange. She gave me an envelope for a reporter named Helliwell. I think there's something not right going on here. Harper, I've studied countless outbreaks like this. Sometimes the panic and the fear are more deadly than the disease. Don't get caught up in paranoia. Remember, the only way to beat this thing is to wallop it with some cold, hard science. We need to get out of town. This disease is killing people. Try to stay calm, son. Why don't you come stay with me in Port Nicola for a while? I, I haven't been to Nicola since I dropped out of PNU. Then it's settled. I'll drive you over as soon as I've finished my presentation. Hold up a minute. That's a thought. This... This is excellent news, Harper. That's it? What are you talking about? What an opportunity. I'm going to need your help. Help what? What are you planning, Professor? A blood sample from that infected woman would be the first step towards a vaccine. I need you to sneak into the treatment camp and get one for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't you just ask the RHC guys? <laughs> Rancho want a Rancho brand vaccine. They don't share data with lowly academics. Really? But people are dying. Exactly. With my research, I might be the only one who can crack this thing. Of Help course. me, Harper. Help the world. Oh, crap. I saw your car in Jake's shop. It looks like a total wreck. No, no, no. Jake's just fixing the brake light. He said he'd drop around today. I think he lied to you, Professor. Looks like Jake left town, and I think he maybe cannibalized your jalopy for spare parts. Damnation! We'll need that car to get to the treatment camp. And Port Nicola. Are you really serious about this crazy plan? Deadly serious. 
This is too good an opportunity to let pass. You'll be taking a big risk by stealing a blood sample, but you might also make history. Do me this kindness, and then we'll drive to Port Nicola together. <sighs> and uh, what will you do while I play gopher? Science, my boy. I have to finish tomorrow's presentation and pack up my lab. Sorry if I'm being quiet. I am just listening what what's happening, I guess. What's your plan again? For you? Uh, why don't you sneak into the RHC camp? They're running high security, an undisclosed location accessible only to RHC staff. Quick reminder, I'm not RHC staff. Ah, I have an old bio suit. Same basic spec as RHC issue. I'd never get into it now, but you'd be a perfect fit. Damn, I knew keeping an amazing shape was a mistake. <laughs> so where is this bio suit? Ah, yes. Here you go. Ugh, rubber. It's polyester. As you see, with a couple of superficial alterations, it'll be a perfect match for the RHC one. So, I pimp the suit, swipe a blood sample, and then we get out of town? Yes, although the last thing we want to do is involve a pimp. Your ride is garbage. What now? I hate to ask, Harper. Do you think you could take a look at her? You see, I have to... Keep doing science. I get it. Give me the keys. Thank you. We need that car All working. Right. Now I guess I have to fix the car. Now I'm a mechanic. Now I'm a thief. <laughs> I'm everything fucking hell. What the fuck? It's locked, but she isn't looking good. Okay, let's have a look. Whew, holy moly, the engines have been stripped. Oil tank. At least the oil level is fine. Okay. I think the engine needs some more coolant. And why? We're gonna find that. That's the radiator. Looks like a copper brass alloy. At least the oil level is fine. Okay. Ah, oh, there are two spark plugs missing. This car is in ridiculous condition. Dang, the car battery is missing. Now what? Aren't you gonna fix or just gonna talk up talk about them? Oh I guess I'm gonna find a engine spark plug and some other shit in junkyard and coolant from the statue I guess. Genius sticks strikes again. The Cahill GC three hundred model. These things almost never explode. Almost. Ah. It amazes me how much stuff regular folk just throw away. That's planned obsolescence for you. DB electric glass. I always scrap. keep a keen eye on the scrap electronics. I, don't I found know why some sweet I had radio so stuff in there in the past. Fuck me, I can't talk. I always like rummaging in the junk, seeing if I could turn up something useful. Oil junk. Huh? Looks like business is rusting. I used to operate the crane for Leroy sometimes, but I always preferred getting hands on.
It's not as busy as it was back when I worked for Leroy. Oh my Jesus, a pain atomizer. Oh man, these things are so cool. I always wanted one of these for my model planes, but Calvin said they made too much mess. I wonder if this baby still works. I'm sure Leroy wouldn't deny me a chance to fulfill a childhood dream. Okay. Mine now, bitch. It amazes me how much Nat's planned ops. I always like rummaging in the. I don't think I can find anything else. Leroy's trailer. He lives here all year round. You know me, Hop? Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. Do you mind if I borrow some bits of junk from the yard? Working on a new project, huh? Sure, take what you need. But please leave all the car parts. I'm turning a good profit on them right now. Um, actually... I'm trying to fix this broken down car. Could I please take some spare car parts from the junkyard? Papa, you know I'm always ready to help a buddy. You done me more good turns than I can count. Oh, thanks, Leroy. But car parts fetch a good price. I might need just one more good turn. I thought you were always ready to help. I am! Help me help you, Harp. Help me help you. I don't have time to run more errands. Too bad. Let me know if you change your mind. Okay, what's the favor you wanted? Ah, now you're talking. Could you get me a drink? I'm dying of thirst here. The hotel bar won't serve me after I, you know, with the thing. Yeah, I remember. I don't. I blacked out after the fondue fountain. Come on, buddy. Just bring me a drink and you can have whatever car parts you need. Okay, okay. It's a deal. About those car parts. Bring me a drink and I'll help you out. You betcha. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. I, I have to go back home. Then find my pants, then find my ID, then find the bar, then get a drink. <laughs> this is fucking awful. I mean, pretty simple, but. A lot of work to do. I don't know if this even remotely fun to watch. <laughs> I don't think so it is. That's why it's really hard to play and record a video for YouTube, a puzzle game. Huh, I knew I left my idea in here. Ta -da. Sorry if you hear the noise, my cat's playing with some stuff, I don't know what's that. Where's the bar again? At the hotel. No shit. Hello there. 
Hey, what can I get you? About that drink. What's your poison? Give me a beer. Sure. You got your ID? Of course. Here it is. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. I want a drink. Give me a beer. Where's your ID? Here's my ID. Here's your drink. Cool. <laughs> what the fuck? Can't you run? I thought you were in a pretty good shape, I guess. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. About those car parts. Bring me a drink and I'll help you out. You betcha. Got the beer, bitch. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. Here's your drink, Leroy. Ooh, thanks, Hop. You come talk to me about those car parts anytime. Anytime? Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. About those car parts. Yep. I need some coolant. Yeah, Jake had some bottles of coolant in his garage. I picked them up when he left. Better than let the teens try to drink them or smoke them, am I right? <laughs> Very <sighs> thoughtful. Ain't I a saint? Of course. Do you have a fan belt? Nah, no resale value. Oh, damn it. I need one. You could always try jewelry rigging it with something elastic. What about a car battery? Yeah, I was using one to jumpstart a tractor early in the week. Seemed to have plenty of juice in it. Okay. Do you have any spark plugs? Nah, unless there might be some in the old car engine hanging on the crane. Great. Can I have them? Sure, if you can get it down yourself. I'm watching the game. Sure thing. Sure thing. Do you have a radiator hose? I do. I tried to use it to connect a gas cylinder to my stove, but it wasn't the right size for the nozzle. Thought I'd better give up before I blew the caravan to kingdom come. Let's talk about something else. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop! There's an old car engine hanging from the crane. Leroy thinks there might still be spark mm -hmm. plugs in it. Won't be long until the crane becomes part of the junk pile itself. The circle of life. Let's see here. A couple rusty hubcaps and an old... It's stuck. So what now? Uh, I can't move it. I don't see a way what to the use the atomizer here. Atomizer. At oh my atomizer. Holy shit. Holy shit. I didn't I can't make those I things work together. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I ought to wrench that. So... I don't think so I can do anything. Leroy's trailer. He lives here all year round. You know me, Hop. Junk is my life. Okay, thank you. Leroy's trailer. You know me, Hop. Let's have a look here. Ah, there it is. I found the battery. Need a Neat. Wonder what's in this pile. Nah, nothing but a chewed up grocery cart.
Here, junky, junky, junky. Huh. Just some rusty strips of sheet metal. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting over here. Let's talk to him again. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. About those car parts. Yep. So, can you give me a bottle of coolant? Which kind you need? Um, are there different kinds? Sure. Take a look. What the heck? Orange, pink, pink, orange, pink. G12, G13. Wow. What's the difference? Use the wrong one and your radiator's kaput. That's the difference. You really don't want to put organic coolant into a copper brass radiator, no sir. Right. Copper brass. So you don't want to use an organic. So I have to use inorganic and a thin red. Never mind, I need a minute to think. About those car parts. Yep. Could you pass me a bottle of coolant? Sure. Which one? Inorganic, I guess. G12. Uh, give me the G12, please. You sure about that now? I know what I'm doing. All right, then. Here you go. Thanks. Spark pluggers. Add the crane. I can use anything, I guess. Any rubber thing. Uh, about that radiator hose? Sure, take it. It's probably still with the gas, gas cylinder. The lever controlling the crane seems to be stuck. Yeah, the old girl might need some greasing, if you know what I mean. I do. <laughs> At least I hope I do. Where's the gas cylinder? Uh, about that radiator hose? Sure, take it. It's probably still with the gas cylinder. Let's talk about... Talk to you later. Bye, gas Hop! Cylinder. Okay, gas cylinders, gas cylinders. Ha, this looks like a radiator hose. Okay. Leroy doesn't usually mind me being a magpie for electronics, as long as it's going to a good home. Hard to believe I once picked up a working 76 Kojak transceiver from here. Hmm, who gives a shit? Let's see here. Couple rusty hubcaps and an old hairdryer. Nah. Wonder what's in this pile? Nah, nothing but a chewed up grocery okay. cart. I wonder how long that engine's been up. Hope it isn't all rusted up. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. About those. Yep. Sorry for that. Where are those spark plugs? Where were those spark plugs? The car engine on the crane. You remember how to work that thing, right? The lever controlling the crane seems to be stuck. 
Yeah, the old girl might need some greasing, if you know what I mean. I do. At least I hope I do. Could you pass me a bottle of coolant? Sure. Which one? G18, I guess now. Because, who knows, I don't want to come back. I need a bottle of G18. You sure about that now? I know what I'm doing. All right then, here you go. Thanks. Could you pass me a bottle of coolant? Sure. Which one? G12. E12. I need E12. You sure about that now? I know what I'm doing. All right then. Let's here you go. All this Thanks. Stuff I hear. Let's talk about something else. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. Nope. The coolant. Fuck me. Always smart to have a back. I helped Mr. Siegel. The lever just won't budge. Here, junkie, junkie, junkie. Huh. Just some rusty strips of sheet metal. Nothing interesting here. Let's head back to car and see if I can do anything there. I mean, let's just try. What's this? Paint bucket. No Leaving your paint lying up. around, anyone could come along. My guess, no. Okay, ah, jeez. I'm not sure if I got the right coolant. I better check with Leroy. I don't want the radiator to blow before we get on the freeway. Are you kidding? Okay, ah, I'm not sure if I, I don't Fuck want the radiator me. to blow before. A spark plug. Oops. I'd rather not. I can't do that. Jake even took two of the spark plugs. What a crankshaft. What a crankshaft. Nice one. Battery. I don't think those things play nice together. This is an radiator hose. What the fuck am I doing? 
I don't think I can do that. Paint. Why is this paint here? An old fashioned copper brass radiator. It's low on coolant. What do you look for in public art? Crying skull hands, please. <laughs> and a TV for a head. Definitely. I wouldn't know how to use the hose here. Never mind. I wouldn't know how to use... I should ask... Doctor, maybe he have some... Grease? I don't know. If not, then... I'll just cut this part and you won't even notice what happened. Push. Never mind then. Nothing happened. <laughs> the Cahill G. These things almost. How the fuck do I find the grease? I'm not gonna take the pantyhose, am I? Huh. Well, maybe it'll what be useful. The fuck. I just hope no one saw me take it. I suppose I could get rid of all this junk, in theory, but I'd prefer to keep collecting more. I think Calvin left most of these coats behind when he moved out west. Well, they're mine now. Bad news, as usual. A lot of old stuff. I like old stuff. That TV will never work again. But but I can't just throw it out. There's a okay. spider living in there. Ugh, I should clean this place. Yeah, tomorrow. I don't know what the fuck am I doing with my life playing this. It's hard. Okay, Mrs. Denman's underwear is worth more than she knows. <laughs> I fixed it? I guess. I think the engine needs some more coolant. Okay, ah, jeez. I'm not sure if I got the right coolant. I better check with Leroy. I don't want the radiator to blow before we get on the freeway. I can't fucking find the grease. Jake's compressor. These things are expensive. Jake wouldn't leave it lying around unless he wasn't planning to come back.
Nah, I don't want to ruin their quality advertising. Someone's making an effort. Hard to believe this is one of the least creepy looking hotels in the county. Always smart to have a backup generator. I helped Mr. Siegel install it back when I was in high school. The TV VCR combo, the pinnacle of home entertainment systems. This thing's actually in pretty good condition. I wonder if it works. Only one way to find out. What the fuck? Okay, I guess. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life playing this game. I'm just bored. <laughs> I guess so. I'm gonna end the episode here and probably will never play this game again <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I mean, we'll see if I do. I'll make sure I'll record. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't think so. I'm gonna play it, but okay. So, I'm gonna end the episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed, leave a sub if you loved it and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, peace out.